So to do this, let's take a look at the EFW. Um, the, here's the EFW. Let's take a look at this EFW firewall router to see if how that exactly works. Now, um, to VPN tunnel through the EFW router, we take a look at our Windows XP client, and let's go to firewall, right? And if you go to firewall, you won't see any rules allowing it through the firewall. And if you go to show system rules, you also won't see any rules. But if you click on system access right here, right, you don't see any rules. And, um, but if you go show rules of the system services, right, all of a sudden you'll see a bunch of rules that allow system access through the firewall. So you can see here, here's DHCP. Uh, port 67 and the interfaces, right? Source and interfaces. These are the services that are running, right? So DHCP, DNS, ping, right? And we go down here, go down here, go down here, and you can see here is OpenVPN. So from any service, you can see that OpenVPN is automatically working now on port 1194. So we should be able to VPN in let's say from we have a, a computer outside of the network right now outside of this um, virtual network that we set up and that is the Windows 7 machine so let's see if we can uh, connect from the Windows 7 machine at at 192.168.1.130 and VPN tunnel into the private network over here and get a 0 0.200 address so that would be something that we could do now to do that what you're going to want to do is so on my Windows 7 machine here I've opened up a web page with openvpn.net how about VPN solution so we go here and we clicked on VPN um, service and then you can see here there's um, downloads so community downloads let's go there and let's take a peek here and you can see here this is what you want so right here you can see that open uh, VPN 2.2.2 right and there's the Windows installer right here open VPN 2.2.2 so you want to download that and install that okay and once you have it installed it will run in your um, system tray like I have right here or you could open it up start programs and look for open VPN and you want to run this right here now we're gonna to need to set up a configuration that allows us to VPN into our private network so let's do that okay so I already have the open VPN client installed on my computer and you can see it here when system tray there it is right there but we still have to create the configuration to actually um, uh, uh, connect to the desired uh, VPN connection so that's what we'll do now um, if you go into the folder where um, if you go into the folder where OpenVPN is located notice I'm in program files uh, x86 and then in the, the program is OpenVPN and here's the, the folder once you have it installed right so this is OpenVPN now if you go in here there are some sample configurations which you can open up and for instance I can open up sample and let's open it with a notepad and you can see that well it looks like this so what you want to do here is just go to each line and wherever there's a pound sign that's a new line and you could then just read the um, sample config file and what you're supposed to do let's see here one line at a time and if you do that like that okay there you go there you go and so it tells you exactly what to do and each line starts with a pound those are commented out and then this line is commented out and if you uncommented it you would actually activate um, part of the configuration so this one right here semicolon port 1194 you would just uncomment this and now it would be live port 1194 right so um, and then you could just go pound sign to pound sign reading the sample config file and of course semicolon that is a new line here with another piece that's actually meant to be part 
of the configuration, all you have to do is uncomment it at the semicolon once again. So this is the sample config file. Okay, so now, um, but instead of going through the sample config, what I've done is, is I've already set up some configurations that we can use. Now if I go into, you put your configuration in your config folder. So I'm going to go into the config folder and I've made one for this connection called virtual-efw.ovpn and I'm going to open it up, open with notepad and you can see here that this is the configuration file and there's not a lot to it. Uh, it's not that big a deal actually. So what I'm going to do is I need to put under remote though the IP address And this is going to be the IP address of where we want to connect to. So I'm talking about we're going to VPN into the EFW through the WAN port, which is at 192.168.1.132. So in my config file, I'll put the WAN port or the red zone port of the EFW firewall router, right? And then right here, under the CA, this is the certificate of authority, I need to put the certificate file. Now, what I did was is I went into my Windows XP machine and I emailed myself that .pem file that I needed so EFW this one so I emailed it using Gmail I emailed this to myself and then I downloaded it on my local computer so you'll see that right here um, I have it on my desktop let's see if we can get to it here um, whoops that's not it it is right here so there it is there's my PEM file right and I want to I need to take this and copy it right and I've got to put that into the folder where everything else is so let's see here config folder and I'm gonna put that in right here now I've got some certificates in there that I've named dot CER but I'm just gonna put this PEM file in here paste alright there it is EFW slash dan's vlab.pem alright and what I'll do is I'll copy this name copy and I'll paste that into my notepad configuration file alright there it is okay and that's all I need right there so I'll say file save so what I have now is I have my my certificate essentially or this PEM file and I've got my configuration right here and now we can test to see if we can connect now to connect all I have to do is is open up OpenVPN right here there it is and I'll click on it or right click on it and there's my configuration virtual EFW and then just type connect and it brings up the connection so we said the user was test and the password is test pass and we'll click OK and it's trying to connect and it's successful and if it turns out to be successful then it'll turn green and it tells you right here virtual EFW is now connected and I have an IP address 192.168.0.200 so I just VPN'd in from my um, local computer right here my Windows 7 machine I VPN'd into my virtual machine, EFW um, firewall router, and was placed on the internal network behind this virtual EFW router. So there it is. The whole lesson happened on one computer, my laptop, using virtual machines and setting up a virtual network. Now just to show you that it worked, I can go to my command prompt here and this is my Windows 7 command prompt this is not a virtual machine this is my actual computer and what I'll do is is I'll just do an IP config here in my command prompt and you'll see if I scroll up there's a lot of interfaces here but what I'm looking for is my Ethernet local area connection 3 and this is my tunneled address 192.168.0.200 and this placed me within that network so there it is so that's it that's how you would set it up 
and so it was done here and once again um, connecting through I'm gonna go this is my Windows XP machine my virtual machine right here's my Indian firewall right and we'll go to accounts and we'll see if it shows anybody connected let's see here server configuration does it show any accounts there it is it shows test user connection status and control it shows that I'm connected right now right notice I can kill the connection and cancel the user out it shows the address that I've been assigned it shows my real IP address but the firewall router is showing that I've uh, VPN into the network so that's pretty neat so you'll want to do the same thing test out VPN get VPN working on your Indian firewall and once again if you're if you want to do this on actual machines all you need is a computer that you can install Indian firewall on of course you need two NICs one for your WAN side and one for your LAN side right and then you'll need to connect someone to your NICs maybe you'll need a maybe you will need a, a hub here in between the PC and the um, and the firewall router